By show of hands, how many of you have ever wanted an electric fan you can take with you that gives you a workout due to the strength of the fan uh, and also kind of gives you a uh, sense of urgency as fear of electrocution and the propeller is strong enough to break the fingers of those who try to take it from you? Uh, it sounds good. <laughs> so today I'm going to be showing you how to wire up a uh, AC electric motor to a LiPo battery and speed controller. Now what you first want to do is, this is an electric speed controller, they come in multiple different shapes and sizes, so the one I'll be using today is this big black one here. You uh, take these three wires and you connect them to the three wires on the electric motor. Now the colors are on there, but they don't really matter. So you connect these three wires together. Next, what you want to do is you find on the electric speed controller this little wire here. This connects it to the receiver which then transmits it to the transceiver. So you take that, plug it into your corresponding slot and now there's six slots on the receiver. Each one of those corresponds with a different function on the uh, controller. So you'll have to do a little bit of testing to figure out which one goes to which. Now you can also take these which are called servos and basically what they do is they allow you to uh, turn this little rod and make rudders or do whatever you want to. And those will also just plug straight to the receiver. Finally, you'll take your battery and you'll hook it to the power slot on the uh, electric speed controller because you need power to run an electric motor. Then you, now this case here is not mandatory, it'll work without a case. But uh, I wouldn't want to do that because the motor's not very big and your finger's going to be very close to the electric fan. If you're wondering what this little piece of wood here on the bottom is, leftovers from a previous project. It's not important. So then you'll flick this on and you'll flick the controller on. Now if the controller, if any of your switches aren't in a neutral position, the controller won't turn on. This is to keep you from accidentally turning it on and hitting your hands on the propeller. So, and now you are free to. And there's two good ways to test which direction your propeller is going in. The first is to stick your finger in there and see which side of your finger breaks. Uh, the <laughs> other is to feel where the wind comes from, so. Oh. And then your servos will just turn as such. So that is how you build an electric fan with an AC motor and a micro battery.